Welcome back to the Finance Shark YouTube channel. Have you ever thought about retiring early? Extremely early? We've been seeing an increasing amount of interest in the concept of FIRE, which stands for Financial Independence, Retire Early. The FIRE movement is largely one of younger people planning to achieve financial independence before 50, and sometimes before 40 or even by 30. So in this video, we are going to tell you about the ways to achieve financial independence retire early. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. A new financial movement is afoot, in which some people are striving to retire much sooner than the traditional retirement age of 65. Referred to as FIRE or Financial Independence Retire Early, the strategy involves saving for retirement very aggressively, mainly by living a super frugal lifestyle. Financial Independence Retire Early, FIRE, is a movement dedicated to a program of extreme savings and investment that allows proponents to retire far earlier than traditional budgets and retirement plans would allow. An important part of the FIRE movement is the formulas that try to inform investors how much capital they might need to amass in order to provide sufficient income for the rest of their lives. One of the better known formulas is the 4% rule. For example, by assuming an average investment return of 7% per year and an inflation rate of 3%, this rule predicts that retirees should be able to withdraw 4% of their investment portfolio every year. Of course, this formula is based on a range of assumptions that link back to the historic performance of stock markets. What might have worked out based on past market returns is not necessarily guaranteed to work out in the future. Developed by William Bangin in 1994, the rule says a retiree with a 30-year time horizon could spend 4% of their portfolio the first year in retirement followed by inflation-adjusted withdrawals in subsequent years. This rule has even made its way into the FIRE movement and is the topic of our recent research paper, Fuel for the FIRE, updating the 4% rule for early retirees. Limit your expense. The best bet is to start with your current spending by looking at the last three to 12 months of bank and credit card statements and recording your expenses on a worksheet. Then, think about how those expenses may change with your new lifestyle. It's recommended you start with your high interest debt. Eliminate any and all of your credit card debt, personal loans, and student debt. Low cost debt, such as mortgage loans, is less of a priority as they eat less of your income. As a reference point, the Schroeder's Global Investor Study, an annual survey of over 20,000 investors around the world, found that on average, people put away around 15% of their salary specifically for their retirement. Then you should look at your daily expenses and remove non-essentials. How draconian you want to be is down to you and your family. Some more extreme adherents of FIRE advocate no eating out, losing the designer clothes and purses, and swapping gym memberships for outdoor exercise. Calculate how much you need to save. If you retired in your 40s, how much money would you need to live comfortably for the rest of your life? That's one of the questions at the heart of the FIRE, Financial Independence Retire Early movement. Financial independence, at least for many online communities, is defined as having enough savings and investments to fund reasonable living expenses for the rest of your life. You can volunteer, continue to work, or pursue hobbies or passions, but you are no longer relying on income from a job to cover day-to-day -day expenses and save for retirement. The goal of the financial independence movement could be boiled down to, what would I do with my life if I didn't have to work for money, per the popular subreddit on the topic. For many people who adhere to the mission, there's a savings target they want to hit, at which point they will have reached financial independence as they define it. It's called their FIRE number, and typically, it's equal to 25 times a household's annual spending, investing in low-cost, passive stock funds. Many wannabe early retirees aim to save between $1 million and $2 million. You can calculate your own number by meeting with a financial advisor or using an online calculator that can give you a ballpark idea. Invest in a diversified portfolio. The 4% rule was calculated using only U.S. assets. Vanguard believes investing in a diversified portfolio increases your chances of success, regardless of your anticipated retirement horizon or financial goal. If that investor had a diversified portfolio with U.S. and international assets, their chance of success jumps from 36% to 56%. To get the full benefits of diversification, Vanguard recommends investing about 40% of your stock allocation in international stocks and about 30% of your bond allocation in international bonds. According to Vanguard research, almost 90% of your investment portfolio's performance, in other words, 
if and how much your portfolio gains or loses is the result of your asset mix. Create multiple passive income streams. Create as many passive income streams as possible. Borrowing money is currently very cheap and people should take advantage of it. Investing in things like real estate or long-term investments that will turn into liquid assets over time is an easy way to ensure an early retirement. Get on the same page as your partner. Having money conversations with your partner is always an essential part of marriage. But when one person wants to retire early, it's an even more important conversation. Brandon of early retirement blog Med Scientist had this discussion with his wife when he realized that he wanted to retire early. While his wife didn't want the same thing, they found ways to make both of their dreams happen. Brandon's wife Jill told insiders Tanza Laudenbach, we both were in agreement about where our priorities were and what we would like to spend more time doing, spending time with friends and family, traveling, volunteering, and all those kinds of things. While she's ultimately decided to keep her job and her own finances, having this conversation early on in the journey and being on the same page made Brandon's early retirement possible. Max out your retirement accounts. There's at least one common strategy present in nearly every story about financial independence and early retirement early and frequent savings. Oftentimes, the best way to optimize your savings is through retirement accounts. Employer-sponsored retirement plans and IRAs provide unparalleled tax advantages and investment growth. You can contribute up to $19,000 pre-tax to a 401k and $6,000 to a traditional IRA, for which you can get a tax deduction on your current year's tax return. The only caveat to stuffing your retirement accounts to the brim when you're planning to retire early is the restrictions on withdrawals. You won't be able to take any money from your 401k without penalty until you've reached age 59 and a half. You can, however, dip into your Roth IRA, which is funded with after-tax money, and withdraw your contributions, not including any earnings, tax-free at any time. If you have a mortgage, consider paying it off. In preparing for early retirement, eliminating consumer debt with high interest rates is a no-brainer. But paying off a mortgage early with good terms isn't so cut and dry. For some, the peace of mind of being liability-free is worth it, while others may argue that the money saved in interest payments would pale in comparison to potential investment returns. Tommy, who only goes by his first name online, retired nearly 10 years ago at age 51 after a more than three-decade career in telecom. He never earned a six-figure salary, but focused on saving consistently since his 20s and living frugally with his wife and three kids, he wrote in a blog post. One of his biggest regrets, not paying off his mortgage before retiring. So much of having a great retirement is mental. Being mortgage free certainly adds another level of mental freedom, he wrote. How much to save for emergencies? Most experts agree, you should have three to 12 months of expenses set aside in cash. If you don't have a budget in place, there's no way of knowing how much you need in your emergency fund. Once you have a decent amount of assets and a high net worth, you can make adjustments to your emergency fund. Your emergency fund number is dependent on your life situation. Only you and your spouse can determine what makes sense for your family and what helps you sleep easy at night. Put plan A into action, but enjoy the present too. Time and discipline are all you need to execute your plan from here on out. Keep saving and investing, but don't forget to live in the present while you can. An early retiree, Steve Atcock, wrote on his blog, Think, Save, Retire, sacrifice is necessary to retire early, but it's not all we do either. It is important to treat and reward ourselves along the way by celebrating those smaller achievements. Do you dream of golfing or fishing more? How about spending more time volunteering? Or maybe you want a slower paced part-time job and a bit more time to focus on your hobbies. When you're financially independent, any of that is possible. What is your opinion about financial independence? Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.